Alright, so what's up? This is Hikati here. Um, I'm going to post the intro to the match that I wrote out in the forums uh, on here. Um, it's pretty sweet. Uh, anyway, this is the continuation of the match because I started this after the first battle had occurred. So, Mpeta Mirage was down and Gronmore had to attack Lord Van Blute, servant of Aeun or Ani, and his gear is the sickle while Gronmore's is a torrent crinth, giving him water 5 and a uh, fire 5. I played a Rhyme of the Reckless on Gronmore's first attack, the Thermo Rings, um, to protect, I think, and or to deal 25 damage back to Gronmore, and now we're just battling it out. Um, this Primal Smash is going to take down his Courage uh, to below 65, so he loses all elements, thus losing uh, Fire 5 and Water 5. This is going to allow me to um, bring down his energy enough so I can cycle some of my more useless attacks, like um, uh, Fluid Flame right there, and then the next attack I'm going to play is... <sighs> he plays a Lodi in advance, which deals 5 damage and is a water attack, so he actually heals, and then so I have to play Riptide. Um, to bring his energy down to 5, and then he plays Flame Bloom for nothing, I play the Quest and Swirl, and code him. And that's it. <clears throat> Pass on the attacks. And that was at the Rook Lens. Sorry, it's passing. I won that comment. My location is also the Riverlands, so Riverlands is coming up yet again. Now, this was probably he asked me who I was attacking. I took Omquad into Zelf. He defended with Tanga Toborn. Um, this is probably one of the bad mistakes that I made during the match because I could have taken Blute into Vorks, and that could have been better. It would have been a better matchup, and I could have got another win out there. Um, but now Tangatoborn and Umquad are battling it out. Uh, on the upside, Umquad was able to cycle quite a few cards, but Tangath with Defender and having Fire Five and Zero Armor, um, it's not that good. What uh, another benefit was is I got to see what his battle gear was quite soon. But again, the downfall was he got to play some stuff that I wouldn't have wanted him to play normally, like Super Cooled Rain. Um, so that that super cool rain uh, really hurt. It took uh, took away quite a few of my counters, um, and there was a bug actually because I couldn't select. I wanted to select more counters from one creature uh, rather than from one of the others. So I was just telling them that I was reporting. I was going to report a bug, but he's not in trouble or anything. I'm just reporting a bug. Um, so I took a screenshot right there. So then I'm repositioning because the Riverland, uh, or then I brought. Um, Reposition by bringing Chromax up to become a major threat. He has uh, the Robosock Trine Grid, and um, Lord Van Blute is, has to be attacked by Vorks. Now, I didn't realize what had happened here, but it was Vorks' ability. Um, ability kicked in, so I actually destroyed Loma's battle gear. This is so he didn't gain Fire 5 and Water 5. And at the time, I was thinking that he had the ability to have both of those elements, but then Lord Van Blute comes. Um, I did play it kind of safe though because he could have played a Mineral Mayhem and upped his courage by a hundred, but <clears throat> this is this worked out okay in, in the end anyways. So Vorx is trying to attack Blute, but it's not really working. Um, Blute plays uh, Meditative Leap, so he gets to cycle attack card and have the option of having a Muja counter moved on to him which I'm pretty sure I declined uh, pass right there because of the because of Arthoa in the back if you can see my army there um, he makes all of Blute's stat checks work um, because Blute has water so then I get to play a super cool drain on him which is kinda nice because his uh, air DAC in the back is what's really powering his army his whole strategy is based around air DAC and Zelf and when Zelf gives a creature um, Range and air deck has ten counters. Air deck can destroy any creature with range. So it's a nice little combo that works there. Uh, I'm going to move all my creatures up because I got the Riverlands again. So Riverlands was the location three times. So instead of attacking on my location, I chose to um, just move my entire army around.
Sorry for the stop technical difficulties. I don't even know if you noticed it. But anyway, um, basically all I did was move around my crew. My creatures for strategic positioning, forcing him to go on to the, on to the offensive and attack me, thus taking away Tanga Tobworn's abilities, because his abilities only work when he's defending, uh, or when it when it's his turn, or when it's my his opponent's turn. So basically, when it was my turn. Anyway, so he ta uh, took Tanga Tobworn into Chromax. Um, I played Mega Roar off the bat. I have Almer's Projector, you can see it right there, and he has a Zerum Armor. Um, that's why Mega Roar only did 20 damage. So then uh, I start to play some cycle cards. Sorry, I thought the stat checks work, of course. Uh, and then I tried to burn him. The only problem is I did some math incorrectly, and uh, Caster's War Song only did 5 damage, and he Cadence Clash. Um, he Cadence Clash, my kind of casualty, and I didn't know that. Otherwise, I would have played Cadence Clash. But, um, yeah, I just didn't look. I thought he was Cadence Clashing Caster's War Song for some reason. Just the way that it, it appeared, and I wasn't really paying attention. Um, because I got overconfident. Uh, so then, he and I start going at it a little bit more. Tanga Tobor's attacking there and healing. I get Super Cooled Rain and play Super Cooled Rain. Uh, this is going to take qu quite a few of his counters away. And uh, I'm pretty confident right now because even though um, he may b have played, he may be um, kind of, well, I got at the advantage in energy. Never mind. Forget what I was going to say. He plays uh, Tainted Thunderstorm. He and I were talking there and he regretted not playing it sooner. Uh, and I'm saying, you know, you want to just call it. Because basically once Tank of Toborn's finished, there's very little point in in fighting anymore um, because I have the creature and... Uh, uh, quite a few advantages over him, so I thought I'd play the Mega Roar um, because I thought he was going to forfeit. But <sighs> being a good player, he wanted to play it out to the end, so uh, I brought back some gear. My I had a Zero Armor on my Loma as well. Uh, I brought back Orb of Unda, and it would appear face up, so it can give her another counter, and that allows me to play um, Refrain of Denial again if he's going to play a Magic. Which was Unheard Melody, I was talking to them about. Uh, he could play that music and destroy one of my creatures without any music counters. So I thought he might be running that music, and I decided to run um, Refrain of Denial. I actually told him that uh, a little while later. But it was, this was a pretty easy win. Uh, I was just moving the battle board around a little bit, get a different view of things. It was a pretty easy win because Zelf has no elements, and his deck is element orientated. And yeah, I just wanted to code him. I was getting tired of it. I thought I was a little bit frustrated. Um, but Blut and Chromax, uh, for strategic reasons, I moved up. He'd be forced to attack me next turn. He gets to gain a counter, but so do I. I'm put it on Blut uh, so that I can play Cannon of Casualty again as soon as I get him down to 40 energy. And if he was going to play anything in response. Oh, that's actually why um, I'm going to have to refresh here. See how I was looking at Airdeck, then there was a glitch, and Airdeck is on the bottom there. And uh, if I want to play Gaden of Casualty coming up, um, which I do, I think. I think I decide to. Um, or attempt to. See, here I'm refreshing, and I'm logged in. And this is going really fast. It was really stressful because I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And I went back into Krill and I just waited there. And Chromac Airdak, see that? It's blue flame. So now he's down to 20 energy. Uh, yeah, I was. That wasn't a smart move, I don't think. Can't remember exactly. It's been too long now. I've been doing this voiceover way too late. Anyway, Chrome Access comes back up, and that's pretty cool, I think. So, a Pyro Jungle. I flip a coin. It was heads. Um, I must move my creature. I'm moving Lord Van Blute into Airdak. There already doesn't have any Mugic can Can't gain any Mugic Cantors. Has no elements. Um, and that's pretty much the end of the game. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember. Hail Kaor.